In this video, I'm going to show you how to run an income statement, also known as a profit and loss, and the different ways you can run the report. I'm in the QuickBooks Online sample company, Craig's Design. This may look a little different based on your subscription and into its phased rollout of new features. So click on reports. And usually, the profit and loss is up here in your favorites. If it is not, you can scroll down and you see the star is filled in. You can just click to add it to your favorites to get um, quick access to it. So by default, um, QuickBooks usually just shows you the current month, but there's tons and tons of options. I'm going to choose last year and I'm going to run the report. It's default into accrual. You can change it to cash if you like. You can, if you just come across and look at these boxes, we'll just look at this display columns by. There's a lot of options here. Say you wanted to run your report for one month and see every day. You could also run it by month, which is kind of a cool thing to do. Of course, being a sample company, there's not much error. Um, but it, it's an interesting way to see trends. If you look from January across, so you're, of course, the top of this report shows your income and you see your total income and you could see it by month, which then can tell you, you know, your better months, your not so good months, maybe you have a seasonal business, maybe you can identify opportunities to do some more marketing to even out that cash flow. The bottom part of the report would be your expenses. And once again, you can start looking for trends. Maybe one month you spend an awful lot on meals. Well, maybe you need to look at why that is, or I don't have much in here. Maybe all of a sudden, you know, your job materials or whatever other expenses, software, um, other expenses can suddenly jump. And if you see a trend, of course, if you just want to see what's going on, you know, I'm hovering my mouse on this 250, you click on it. And then it, you, it'll drill down and show you what's in that amount. Oops, what was in here? There we go. So let's look at another way. Uh, let's go back to actually look at this. You can do products and services. Although this might get a little overwhelming, but this is another way if you want to see. There's other ways to get this, but if you're assigning expenses to products or, or something like that, um, this may be something that's helpful to you. Keep in mind that when you're running a report, you're not hurting anything. You're just looking at the data in different ways. If you have accounts you're no longer using, um, I actually kind of like to run thing, you know, market to exclude, but you can also prepare, um, compare this income statement to say a previous year. So there we have, and of course being a sample company, there's nothing here, but this is another way to see, you know, again, trends. Now say you wanted to see multiple years. So I'll come up here and change the date to January of 19. And then we can say years. Come on, there we go. So now you can look at how you've been doing over a period of years. And this is all just looking at the report, looking for trends. You know, are you meeting your goals that you set for your business? Um, here's, here's another really cool thing. 
I'm going to go back and just make this to, um, let's go back to last year and do total only. Another interesting thing to do, you see all these options in here. What if we want to see for everything as a percent of income? So you can see the percent of all of these items as a percent of the total income. But even more interesting is you start to look, you see your expenses as a percent of income, which again is just a different way of seeing your information to identify trends and areas for improvement. So I'm going to turn this back off. And you can see previous year to date, year to date, be there is, just, you know, you can do previous year dollar change. One thing I would caution you on is don't check a bunch of these things together. If you just want to see previous year, maybe you just want to see dollar change. And if you find a variation of, you know, all of these different settings up here that you really like and you want to be able to come back to, there's this green button, save customization. You can name this anything you want. You can create your own little report group and then save it so that when you come back, and I'm just going to um, do this and I'm going to click save. I'm going to show you where you can find this now. Once you've saved it, there's, when you're back on your reports tab, you see this custom reports. And now you see my profit and loss report that I just saved. So this is how, as you find different configurations of these reports, and you'll see there's other things down here too, profit and loss by customer, by month, which I showed you. You can run it by quarterly, which is, you can do from the other way too. It's just they have a default set up for you. So if we say, do we have a last quarter? Let's do the last quarter. So then there's a last quarter. We could do, say, last year. And the display column is by quarter. So now we have a column for each quarter. So there's a lot of ways to run this report and get useful information just to see what's going on with your business, see the information in different ways. You can export it to Excel or a PDF. Put it to Excel if you want to um, maybe do some of your own analysis or playing with numbers or whatever. You can also email it to yourself. Um, you can add some notes. But again, you're not hurting anything with this. And some versions of QuickBooks let you actually create a graph. Apparently, this sample company does not have that option, but it's just another way of seeing your numbers and you know don't obsess over well, is it how do i know if it's right you live and breathe your business every day and you might look at something and say how in the world do we spend that kind of money on plants and soil we didn't sell any plants last month um you know you know the story behind these numbers so just looking at this report and allowing yourself to be curious and to just randomly click on things. Hey, I want to see what this is. And then you can keep clicking. I mean, there's another underline here. You can click on it and keep drilling down to get more and more detail as to what is in the numbers on your income statement. So I hope you found that useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time.